Well, good morning again, or good morning for me, everybody. Uh, uh, I'm Chris O'Connor, and we're with another amazing um, Dean's family member, Dean's customer. Um, we're going to let her tell her story. Uh, everybody, this is Beth. Hi, Beth. Hi, Chris. Um, it's a real honor to be here with you and talk to the creator of the Dean's device. So. Oh, thank you. <laughs> It's exciting. I actually saw you on Elena Danan when you did your presentation with her. And being an energy healer, um, I'm a Reiki master. I thought, well, geez, this looks really interesting. How can I enhance my experience for my, for my clients and the people that I work on with using this device? So I said, I'm going to get one. <laughs> so I did. And um, I love it. I got it right here. <laughs> so uh, can I just tell you a real quick story um, yes. about, okay, <laughs> well, actually I've been on a spiritual journey for 20 years. And so, you know, uh, over the course of the 20 years, I realized I wasn't here on this earth just to be, you know, getting up every day, go to work, come home, you know, that kind of thing, you know, rinse, repeat, repeat, you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah. So I, I uh, became a Reiki master. And then over the years, I've taken other energy courses to enhance my abilities so, um, yeah, I, I thought, well, I'm going to get this device and I have had a breakthrough this morning on myself. So before I talk about how I use it on my clients, I was just going to tell you that I have, um, I've had it for about six weeks, I think. And I've been using it cause I have a little arthritis as you know, we get older, we get arthritis <laughs> and, uh, so as I do yard work and whatnot, you know, I get the little aches and pains. So, you know, I, I sometimes I'll bring it to bed with me because it feels, you know, really good to just have the energy next to me. And I've been working without the crystal on my, you know, as I'm sitting there, you know, sitting on my couch, whatever doing. And I, I was either bringing the vortex into my body, which is where the red dots are or out. And I wasn't getting a lot of relief. And I thought, well, geez, you know, maybe like when you interviewed with, was it Ramon yesterday or the other day? Uh, he said that, you know, he was experimenting with it. So I was too. But last night after doing a lot of yard work, I said, I'm going to put one of the crystals in it. And I put the quartz crystal because I know it's an overall healing, you know, even though it's for the crown chakra. So I brought it to bed and I was, you know, as moving around my body and I fell asleep. And this morning I had the epiphany, well, push it out. In other words, push it, the energy away from your body. And I did, and I kind of fell asleep and I woke back up again and I didn't have any more pain. I was like, hmm, whether it was just over the course of the six weeks using it on and off, but I mean, the crystal just amplified it like intensely. So I was really excited about that. So anyways, that was just one thing that I used on myself. Um, but I have used it on a couple of people, so I can tell you a little bit about that if you're, that's why we're here, I guess. <laughs> so, um, so after I got the device, I contacted one of my, he's kind of a friend client kind of thing. I used to work with him and he's, you know, spiritually awake and, and I said, I got this new device. I said, you know, I want you to try it out and come on over and, and, um, see how it feels because he's experienced my healing, you know, without it. So I wanted to get his feedback. So I said, yeah, okay. So um, what I do want to tell your, tell the, the, the people listening is that when you do energy work on other people, you do want to protect yourself. Um, so, I mean, I could tell you a little bit about what my little ritual is if you want, just to, so if other people sure. decide they want to, you don't have to be an energy healer or Reiki person to do healing work on other people. We all have the gift. So basically what I do is about half an hour before the client comes, I, I sit and I, you know, go in and I visual, I ask my guides and my, you know, spirit team, my galactic team to come in higher self and uh, just send down the protection. And then I use any kind of geometrical shape. I use a sphere sphere because it's works for me. And you can choose any color that you fill it up with, you know, light. And then you just ask for the protection for as long as you need it. So it's very important to uh, protect yourself from energy, especially if you are doing work on other people. However, you know, when you go out into public, you know, you it's just a little course in energy, just quickly. <laughs> you know, when you go out to, 
when you go out into the public, you can feel other people's energies, whether you're sensitive or not, if you're an empath. And being protected is very important because, you know, I, I know all people have probably experienced this where you've been next to somebody and they're, they're in a bad mood and you kind of like, you start feeling like, you know, icky. And, and the opposite is that if you feel somebody high vibing next to you, you can feel that energy. So energy's everywhere. And so getting back to my device <laughs> or your device. <laughs> um, so I protect myself that way. And so I just bring in the protection and then you can ask for it for, you know, for as long as I need it for today or, for a uh, half an hour or for 24 hours, you know, just kind of put a little limit on it because you don't need to be protected all the time. Anyways, so my friend comes over and um, of course I ground myself and grounded, I ground him. And so I, you know, I showed him the device and I said, explain to him what I understood it to do is that it pulls, pulls, it's a vortex and it pulls the energy either this way or this way so it's either pointing and you always put the crystal on the red dot yes uh, that's you know it, it, it's the it's most effective that way yes okay that's what it, i do it kind of condenses the energy down even more to a single point right right so that's what i've experienced so i started with the red jasper on his root chakra and i was pointing it down you know and <clears throat> my intuition said no you, you need to pull some of his energy out so I turned it up the other way and um, I, I held it in my, I'm right predominant right hand. So, and I started moving the energy and it was just pulling out energy. And of course you want to make sure as a Reiki person, you know, you've been taught that you can't just fling energy anywhere. You have to either ground it down or I always just ask my, my team to just, you know, bring it, transmute it, take it away, you know, so it doesn't bounce off everyone else and harm yeah. people. So for the highest and greatest purpose. So anyways, I was pulling the energy out and it was working. And then all of a sudden, you know, you get the intuition that, okay, now you have this void, you know, where you took the energy out, you need to put energy back in. So again, I turned it back towards his root chakra and just started, you know, flowing the positive energy in and heal, you know, the healing love and light. And, and so that's how I was intuited to use the device on this particular person. And so I just kind of went up all of his chakras and he was giving me some great feedback, feeling that it was very powerful. I, um, I mean, when I do the healing, I get a lot of energy in my hands. But when I had this in my hands, it was just like, whoa, <laughs> like amazing. Yeah. It just intensified it like to the ump degree. So I, I'm excited about using it. And so anyways, I worked my way up and when I got to his solar plexus, he had had an injury in that area. Uh, he had been doing some um, uh, uh, martial arts and he got kicked really hard in that, that area. So yeah, so I, I removed a lot of that trauma. And so once you remove the trauma from the body, it's healed and then you replace it, you know, so do you pull it out? pull it, put it put back in the love and light. And um, so he had a lot of uh, good feedback with it because he's experienced my healing without it and then with it. And uh, when I used it on his third eye, when I pulled the, um, the amethyst and used it on his eye, third eye, he was like, he loved the sensation. He said it was really intense, but in a good way. You know, he, he just, um, he didn't want me to stop. <laughs> using it on his third eye wow. so that was that was the first time i had used it and and the fact that i asked him because he had he he had a, he gave me a lot of good feedback which was nice to, to hear so yeah yeah absolutely um, about how long on each chakra did you use it uh, well using my sessions lasts about an hour um it's hard to say. I think I lose time when I'm doing it. <laughs> All I, I mean, I did work on other parts of his body because he had uh, been diagnosed with a condition and I was working a little bit on that. So um, I don't know, um, seven chakras. I don't know. <laughs> I can't tell you, <laughs> but maybe, yeah, five, maybe six five, minutes. 10 minutes. Yeah. Five, 10 minutes, maybe. Yeah. So, yeah. and yeah. Um, <laughs> Well, that's cool. And, you know, do you mind sharing some of this feedback? 
um, just that it was just amplified, just more intense. I mean, he could he could feel it just, uh, <sighs> vibrating. It's like he 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 could tell. I mean, some chakras were more open or needed more work than others. And so, you know, he gave me some feedback on specific chakras, um, like his heart chakra needed more work. So um, he could feel that. And then again, what I mentioned with his injury and his uh, solar plexus, but um, he, I think he just, he, he goes, yeah, I could definitely tell from when you worked on me before to using this, it was just amplified. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, wow, that's, yeah. that's wonderful. It's really good to have that, you know, before and after so that you kind of mm -hmm. have a, a gauge with somebody that, you know, you know, is going to be honest and open about the moment and the experience. Yeah, he's a good communicator as far as, you know, giving me feedback. You know? So that's why I asked him, I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use you as my guinea pig. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You know, I've done that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so, uh, what uh, what else is there you've said you've worked on a couple of people is there anybody else that yeah well i've i've used it i've used it um i did a session on my mom she came over and um you know she's 87 years old so she you know she felt really wonderful afterwards she didn't give me a lot of feedback with as far as what i had gotten from the other person but you know when she got off the table she was like you know <laughs> she felt really good and for the couple of days after you know i always call afterwards and say how you feeling and you know and they were still you know feeling very good and just 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 good energy because you know i think when you clear your chakras and you you ground yourself you know it just makes you feel good so yeah everything becomes in alignment and then everything flows so much better and mm -hmm. everything about your being is just you know higher vibration and you feel better it's yeah. you know kind of like where we're really need to be headed anyway you know <laughs> but, yeah i know and that's why I'm glad to, you know, because I'm here for the great awakening. I mean, I, I had an, an Akashic record reading and they, they told me I actually was a seventh dimension Palladian. <laughs> wow. And uh, I was here in Memoria when, yeah, yeah, well, that's pretty cool. I remember, you know, hopefully those memories will start coming back, you know, and uh, I, after Lemuria fell, I was like, I'm out of here. I'm going back to <laughs> and then I said, I'm not coming back until the great awakening. And this is my incarnation this time, this lifetime to help and heal people and just raise the vibration of the planet. So exciting. Yeah, so. I believe that's probably the, the, the experience and attitude of a lot of people that, you know, they waited until about this time to come in mm -hmm. because of the process of everybody becoming awakened. And the more people that kind of reconnect with their past life memories and understanding of this then their personal memories will come back in and um and, and then that will support the earth and all of humanity in the transition exactly, exactly. The energy you're vibing at a higher energy yeah I mean, you can see the effect the, the effects of it kind of all around you if you're kind of paying attention like animals and humans are getting along a little better on average you know, even wild animals are more attracted to humanity than they were, you know, yes. um, and just, you can see like younger people, their just daily ability as far as physical abilities, you can see them, in, you, know, in, in, you know, like improving upon, you know, like, the, for example, the Olympics, it's like, how is it that they keep breaking records? You know, mm. they ran, you know, certain speed, for so many years and then we're still breaking those records well it's because we're evolving we're evolving yeah. yeah yeah actually um i don't know if you know sherry Diffban. she's the one that did my reading she's uh, about a year ago and she and i actually were in lemoria together that's it was pretty cool and uh she said the kids that are coming in today are coming in so so many gifts that they're going to be teaching us and i just feel like that's oh, yeah. you know the kids are waking up, I mean, they're coming in with like their memories and it's, it's exciting. It's an exciting time to be alive, even though it's kind of been yeah. crazy for the last two, three years, but I feel like the tide is turning and we're, we're close, we're close. So I feel it. Um, can I just mention one more thing about the crystals that I, I, I wanted to just remind people is that 
When you have crystals, you wanna make sure you clear them after you use them on either on yourself or other people. So I put mine out in the sun. Um, it's, you know, something to clear. You can also use, yeah, you got plenty of sun there. I'm in Connecticut, so <laughs> I think it's sun. I mean, it's sunny today, but, um, but you also can use um, uh, selenite to clear your crystals because it, it clears them without having to be cleared itself. So I have this little piece, but then of course I have my, my big one, <laughs> the big guns. That's a serious you one. But you can just lay them right across your crystals. Yeah, you could just lay them across your crystals and they'll clear um, the crystals, but it's important to clear the energy. Um, like I said, energy is everywhere. So um, anyways, I have- No, that's wonderful. I, I'm really, really happy. Questions to me because I have one more quick thing I wanted to tell you. Um, no, please go. Yep, oh, you're frozen. Yep. Oh. <laughs> oh, I, I think you're back now. I think I, I think the internet. Yeah, you were frozen too. I didn't hear your question. <laughs> I didn't hear what you said. Oh, I say no, please, absolutely go. Tell us whatever's on your heart. Oh, okay. So, um, <clears throat> so I do distance healing, anyways. I mean, I don't. You know, I mostly it's my nieces. Say, hey, Auntie Beth, I need you. To, you know, I got a friend, or I need this. Like, so I do distance healing. But I, my sister called me up this spring. She lives 300 miles away from me and she had an issue. She said, you know, can you send me some healing? She's a healer too. She's a crystal healer, but she, you know, sometimes it's easier to get healing from other people. So she goes, you got that device, right? And I said, yeah. So I said, all right, I'm going to do this distance healing with the Deems device, right? So I put in the crystal. Um, and I just, uh, you know, pictured her, pictured her body and just, you know, ran through all of her chakras and just, you know, and I don't know, she said she felt better, but I'm going to keep doing it. And I targeted the specific area she was having. So, um, so I'm excited that I'm going to try doing distance healing with the device. Yeah, I think that's a great idea because there is no such thing as distance and healing, you know, it, it's exactly. outside of our physical you know three-dimensional world so um there's just there's no distance yeah there's no distance no time you know it's all no. an illusion <laughs> it is it's what quantum me uh, mechanics and quantum entanglement is you know it, it comes into their all everything being highly connected and at, at zero point yeah. you know it's like mind-blowing to think of but <laughs> I know what we don't know, what we don't know, we don't know. It's, it's like, it's, it's crazy. I mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to learning about it. My dad was into quantum physics. He used to have, read a lot of books on quantum physics and um, it's, it's out there. <laughs> yeah. Well, I remember being born and I understood quantum physics as like a five-year-old. You know, so I wow. obviously brought that back with me, you know, whatever, yeah. <laughs> whatever yeah. that was, you know? <laughs> you know, but it's pretty amazing. So, yeah. well, um, before we go, uh, do you have any, any advice or anything, any final words for specifically, you know, for people that are just kind of looking into this and then beginning their process, their spiritual process, their process of healing themselves, you know, do you have any kind of advice? Uh, if they're healing themselves and they're using the device, I would just say, you know, just keep practicing with it. It's, it's amazing. Uh, you know, like I said, I don't know if I told you the first time I put it on my third eye, I was like, <laughs> it was like, Whoop! and I could feel all the way down, you know, my spine. And so, uh, again, it, it took me a little while to figure out the, the different areas that works better for me as far as turning it one way or the other. But uh, yeah, just keep practicing. Um, we're, we're all capable of doing this. We, you know, we all live in the love and light and we, we, are, we are so amazing creatures that we, you know, we're, we're sort of dumbed down, we're told we're not, but we have so much, so much potential that, you know, just keep working at it and um, just make sure you send, you know, love and light out to the world, raise your vibration every, you know, even if you don't think you're doing anything in the world, just by being here and being a light worker or a star seed or whatever, you are doing it. 
because yes. we need you. We need you all just to keep your vibration high, you know, no matter what you're going through. So vibe high. That's my advice. <laughs> I love that. That's great. Yeah, absolutely. I, I completely yeah. agree. You know, just sharing your vibration, you know, doing something that makes you joyful because that is infectious. You know, and just bring whatever joy you can into the world. That's the feeling of joy is and it is a very high vibrational state. Mm -hmm. You know, so bring that in as much as you can as well. You know, in, in that process, and your life will improve and change in ways you have no idea. Absolutely. I mean, whenever I go out to the store, I just like vibe high and talk to everybody and try to spread my love and light everywhere I go. Yeah. <laughs> Not always. Yeah. Not always easy sometimes, but you know, <laughs> you got to do that it. Hence the challenge. Yeah, it's a bit of a challenge, but you know, right. just remind yourself it's okay to fail and keep going. <laughs> That's right. Take one foot, you know, keep walking and you get there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, pick yourself up and keep going. So, well, Beth, thank you so much for your time today. I know it's going to be helpful to everybody. It's some really wonderful information. And uh, thank you for being part of the Deems family. I truly appreciate you and and sharing your your information. My it was again it was my honor to be on here with you and um, I'm looking forward to experiencing more with this the deep the Dean's device. <laughs> yes, <laughs> well, please keep time. us you know keep us informed. You know we'll yeah. you know talk again. <laughs> yeah, sure, love to anytime. Uh, okay. Sending you lots of love and light. <laughs> sending you love much love my friend you have a wonderful rest of your day okay. thank you you bye. too enjoy your vacation bye <laughs> all right bye everyone